Tyree Nichols' family has been publicly urging any demonstrators to keep their protests peaceful. Uh, there are rallies scheduled here in North Texas in the next couple hours, including downtown Dallas, where Devon Fernandez has been speaking with local activists. So what, what do they have planned, Devon? Hey there, Chris. I'll tell you, in about an hour and a half, concerned community members activists and community organizers will be gathered here outside DPD headquarters tonight for a rally and protest in response to police violence. Now, even though that situation in Memphis is at the root of the situation across the country, they say here locally concerns about policing locally remain an issue that needs to be discussed. Now, a group of local activists admits it's been months since we've seen many of them hit the streets in protest about police use of force, but they say work is happening and has been happening behind the scenes. Now, Dallas is among cities across the country preparing to see protests tonight in advance of the release of that video, which police say shows the beating death of Tyree Nichols at the hands of five Memphis police officers who are now charged with murder. That'll be released tonight. Local organizers say that'll be speaking out tonight against strained police and community relations in Dallas. They'll be asking for more transparency and removing roadblocks to data like access to use of force statistics. They also tell me they're demanding more accountability from police officers, the police chief and city leaders. So many times we have told you that it's about the culture of policing. If you really want to make a difference, be transparent with the data. If you really want to make a difference, Show us that you mean business. When we look at use of force, we still have a problem with use of force in this city. When police officers, when Dallas police officers use force, almost two thirds of the time, they're using it on black people. We will continue to fight. We will continue to take the streets. We could, we'll continue to raise our voice. Now, just a little while ago, Chief Garcia did issue a statement to us in response to the activist claims. He told us that he has met with activists and pastors and added that Dominique Alexander has never showed up to a meeting last year. But I also talked to Alexander, who told me that the chief isn't being totally accurate with that statement. Now, Garcia also added a public dashboard will be put out next month that will report use of force statistics. And he also said the public data portal is run by the city of Dallas, not the police department here. Now, I want you to know that that rally and protest back here at the city at the Dallas Police Department is scheduled to begin at 630. That's in about an hour and a half in Dallas. I'm Demond Fernandez. All right. Thank you, Demond. He'll be keeping us updated over the next couple hours and tonight on World News. Uh